Valdosta State University students are still living in hotels or staying with friends because their off-campus housing apartment is still not ready. WLB News 10's Mackenzie Petri reports some students say they're struggling and they're not sure what to do. I'm different because I can't cook in there either, so I have to constantly buy food outside and I don't want to do all that because it's like that. The money that I could have been saving for my rent is going towards food, laundry for the hotel, all of that. Magnolia Reserve Student Housing Apartments is supposed to be a new off-campus housing option that could house over 200 students. In March of this year, they reported that students would be able to move in in August, but since then, the move-in date has changed several times. The most recent provided move-in date was August 26th, but that has also changed again. Tell us until the 23rd, which is kind of a it's kind of a setback because you would think they would tell us earlier than that. But I was trying to move into my apartment that way so it's not conflicting with school. But when school started, it was kind of like a setback too because it's like, dang, now I have to worry about school and worry about a place to stay, worry about if I'm going to be okay at night. Students had two options for the month of August since they weren't able to move in. They could pay discounted rent for a hotel and stipend, or they could pay no rent at all and find somewhere else to stay contemplating like moving somewhere else kind of because like you really don't know what to expect with, Mag with Magnolia Reserves. This isn't only affecting students but their parents as well. One mother drove four hours and paid for a U-Haul just for the property to tell the students they can't move in. And then they're telling them oh you're going to move in on the first. The first tends to be the 11th. It tends to be the 19th. It tends to be the 25th and now I don't even know what date they are moving in. Speaking to the owner he tries to kind of like brush you off and he's he's worried about how much money he is losing. Magnolia Reserve is paying for storage units for all tenants. I did reach out to the property owner for an update regarding the matter and he stated, quote, we are working with our general contractor to resolve the issue with getting power in all apartments. We are very hopeful the solution that the general contractor has provided will take place soon. Our general contractor is also working with the city of Valdosta to deploy water meters. They have been installed in one building. We want to help our tenants. We are working with them, providing hotel accommodations and a stipend during this transition time, end quote. Mackenzie Petrie, WALB, your hometown news source.